you went riding, I can't remember where, you left the car door open. I'm not sure if the car was running. To be honest, that happened to me not just once. <laughs> just How happened. many times? It just happened last week. Are you serious? It really blew my mind. Career highlights and more with your favorite winter athletes. This is On The Line. Hello, Miss Anna Gasser, how are we doing? Hello, Henry, I'm doing very well, thank you. What have you been up to in these crazy times? It's been the first summer I just spent at home. So it's been actually quite nice because normally I'm traveling all year round and now it's the first time in like 10 years that I didn't get on an airplane in, in a couple months. So it's a nice change and I actually enjoyed the time at home with my family and friends. In lots of wake surfing going on with the crew? Yeah, preparing for my surfing career, which oh, hasn't, yeah? hasn't Are we gonna see? It hasn't started yet, but it, that's the little start, I think. But hopefully I get to try it soon. What's your best trick on the old wake surfing so far? I'm, I'm just trying to do good looking turns. Damn, it's so <laughs> hard on the water, you know. I'm actually just trying to, to work on my style, to not look like a total cook. So what about the old acro yoga as well with your sister? I've seen a bit of that going on. Yeah, I love it. It's like such a fun activity to do in summer for me. And with my background as a gymnast, it's like natural. And like, I think we did some progress this summer. What's your best move? It's really like um, a trust game. So we're just trying to like do some like flips and she should catch me again. That would be the perfect scenario. One highlight of your whole snowboard life, career, what do you think it would be? I think it wouldn't be the Olympics. It, I think the triple wins for me. It, it's really? Hard. Yes. Cab triple under flip, the first uh, one landed by any woman ever. It was yeah, 2018. So Time to do it again, I guess. <laughs> you weren't planning on it at all, were you? And no, I wasn't. It was like, of course, I've been thinking about it, but I, I, I was more thinking about doing it on a perfect spring day and not on an icy glacier day. But it was, it was just perfect and I felt it. And snowboarding is so much about how you feel that it felt right at that moment. I'm gonna give you a little test now. Oh no, I'm pretty bad in history, but I'll try. First female gold medalist at the Olympics in Nagano, 1998, for freestyle snowboarding. Nicole Tos. Nicole Tos, it was, very it good, was very the... good. First ever 900 in women's freestyle snowboard competition, not in the pipe. We're talking a big air or slope style. I know it. I, I just don't remember her name. It was a cap nine, right, from the toes, maybe? It was a cap Mixed nine, games. yes. Uh, it was... Uh, a legend of the sport. A legend. I know. I should know it. And I, I like her, like, I know I'm gonna, I don't remember her name. Should I give you the first, the first letter of her name is a J. <laughs> Time's up, Anna. I know. I don't know it. Jana Mayen. Yes. I knew the story behind it. You I knew the story some... and the trick. So we're going to give you like... Half. Point seven Half. of a point there. Okay. Who landed the first ever back 10 double cork for female snowboarding? Katie Omrad. First ever cab triple. <laughs> well, me, I like for as ladies. a boy, but boy I wouldn't know. The first ever cab double 12 for lady snowboarding. Well, that was me too. <laughs> I should know that. And, and I don't think anyone's repeated it, have they, so far? No, not even me. I should do that soon too. Okay. This is now a really Is that a promise? It's a promise. Would you rather have really long fingers or really long toes? Really long fingers. Yeah? yeah. Why? You can grab easier. Land every single trick that you've ever dreamed of, but no one ever sees it. Or stay at exactly the same level that you are now, but never progress. But that's a hard one. Yeah. This is the hardest one so far, I would say. But I think I would like to do, do all the tricks at least once. Keep progressing. Keep progressing. But no one ever sees. No one ever sees. Except the people that are around me, maybe. No, not even them. Not even Clemens and Sani. I'll give you Clemens and Sani. But okay. no footage is allowed to be seen. Yeah, I still would like okay. to know how, the, how those crazy tricks feel. You're never allowed to ride a park again, or never allowed to ride powder again. You guys know I'm a bark rat, but... Like, I've, I've rode back the last 10 years, so now it would be nice to ride bow for the rest. I can build my back in the bow of myself, right? That's allowed. 
you can build backcountry jumps for sure. All the sole snowboarders out there just went, yes. <laughs> End your career being known as the most stylish snowboarder that ever lived, but you never ever win a contest again. Or you win every contest that you ever enter for the rest of your career, but wax style. Oh, that's so hard. Uh, but I, uh, I, I really hate when I do a trick with bad style. So even the cap 12 I did, I did it as the first one, but I wasn't 100% happy with it. I think I'd rather go with like really good style and not win. Like yeah, people I mean, wouldn't probably think that of me, but I actually really care how stuff looks. Is it true that once you said you would rather eat a bowl of poo than eat cheese? I, I once said that, but I don't, now hearing it... <laughs> you did actually say that? I did see, say that once to Clemens, as a joke. But I don't know, actually now thinking about it, I think I had, like, even though it would be, in, be one of the hardest things for me, I would have to go with the cheese. What's wrong with cheese? I just, I just never liked it, I don't know. Is it true that for the first half of your career, while you traveled the world to all these wonderful places, you only ate pasta with tomato sauce? Probably five times a week, but not <laughs> just pasta with tomato sauce. There is some bread in there and some- yeah, But they always eat it with cheese. What do you have? Plain just good like... bread, yeah. Oh, you'd love getting locked up in jail. You'd love it. Here's <laughs> bread and water. Mm, perfect, thanks. Why don't you tell us the story about the time that you left your brand new Audi. I can't, I can't remember if it was running or not, but you left the doors open, completely open all day, you went riding, I can't remember where. To be honest, that happened to me not just once. <laughs> just How happened, many times? It just happened last week. Are you serious? Yes. What we're going to do is we're going to blindfold you, Anna. Okay. First up, I would like you to draw, if possible, a can of Red Bull. A self-portrait of yourself doing a frontside 360 frontside grab. Henry, this is hard. <laughs> I don't know, you can't see what I'm drawing. Finally, just, just write your name, Anagasa. Okay. We'll have a look, there we go. Hey, that's actually pretty good. Well, I think Anna, you should have a look at it now. I don't know what the can of Red Bull is, but. <laughs> Great. This should be the can. Okay. And this is a. It's a fish or? This is a coaxed snowboarder. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, it's hard to, yeah, it's hard to tell. Not bad at all, Anna. But it's not easy to do it blind. Thank you very much for, for joining us. Yeah, thank you, Henry. It was fun. Bye.